There's no lack of plastic surgeons in Southern California when it comes to tweaking the nose. Ah, but CBS 2 Suzanne Marquez shows us a temporary device to add a little lift. I don't like the way it kind of droops down, so I want it to kind of lift it and make it like a bit pointier. Hannah Park is talking about her nose. It can be a bit more narrow. And these tiny plastic nose lifts from Asia are gaining popularity online. They claim to perk up the tip and bridge of the nose. I tried it. I have stuck it up my nose. Hannah agreed to try the high stealth 3D nose lifts we purchased on Amazon for $8. But warned she hasn't had much luck with other brands. You fold it like this, you hook it, and you get one end at the bottom and the top end. After several attempts inserting the lifts into both nostrils. Open up. Oh my god, for like two seconds, but like one side is like a misshaped oblong, right? She feels her nose cavities are just too small. It's not cute. This is why I'd rather just get injections. And her board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Yu, who specializes in surgical and non surgical rhinoplasties. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. He says the nose lifts are safe if used judiciously. I've even had patients who have come to my practice saying, I actually like how my nose looks with these nose lifts. Can you create this permanently with surgery? Hannah opted for the non-surgical approach. Restylane fillers injected into the nose every six to nine months to subtly lift the tip and build up the bridge. How did that work out for you? So many people said, oh my god, your nose is perfect. And I was like, dude, it's fillers. 